feel like a Barbie. Like this is, this is, these are the pants like she would wear. That's what I've decided. Okay, I swear I have a shirt on. It just looks like I don't have a shirt on. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you know, whatever. Anyways, I do have clothes on. Um, I have like a tube top dress, but I didn't feel like wearing a bra. Anyways, we are gonna do a Buff Bunny collection haul. Hello, my name is Stefania. Welcome to my channel. Um, so we are gonna do a Buff Bunny collection. I do do these hauls quite a bit, or I have the last, I think I only, maybe just the last launch. Maybe just that. So that was a lie. But <laughs> I did really enjoy the stuff that I got, and I'm really excited about this collection, especially the rosé set. Like, I have been eyeing that, and I'm just, I'm so excited. Um, but anyways, we are gonna get into this haul. I have not tried on the clothes. I'm so excited. And let's go ahead and get into this video. Just in case, uh, I always forget my measurements. So I don't necessarily know my hips and stuff, but I do usually get a small or extra small in bottoms. Um, I'm five feet tall, so I'm not, I have five one on my driver's license, but really I am five feet. I lie. So I'm five feet tall. I do like a tighter fitting legging. Just keep that in mind. I feel like a lot of people do comment like, you should have got this size. And I'm like, they're my leggings. This is what I like to wear. It's fine. Um, and then I wear a 34C. I think all the bras I did get a small in and then the leggings I got an extra small in. So if I got a different size, I will definitely let you know the reasoning why. And let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, I am cutting weight as well, which is another reason why I always size a little bit lower. So from the last haul, I am about eight pounds lighter. So anyways, yay me. Okay, let's go ahead and put some clothes on. Oh, don't forget to subscribe because I really appreciate you guys. And this makes me buy workout clothes so that I can do these for you. So don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're not already. I do upload at least three to four times a week. Uh, I'm like a little Mary Poppins bag. My channel has makeup and fashion and just anything under the sun that I feel like you should know about. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so here is outfit number one. So this is the Allure bra and then the combat like shorts. So I'll make sure I stand on the stool so you guys can see. But I kind of like talking about it like as I try it on rather than doing like the whole voiceover thing. That way you guys kind of know my like first thoughts. You can tell by my face if I like something. Um, but I really like this bra. I didn't think I was going to just because I thought it was going to be up like way too high. And I don't like it when things like are just ch choking me. Um, so I really like that it has like this nice little scoop. It does feel nice and supportive. Like... I could run in this, which I'm super happy about. I always like have to like jog in place to set if I like a bra. Um, but yeah, it's really not bad. As far as the back goes, it has that cute little like cutout. You guys know how sometimes I get really insecure about cutouts because I don't like it when it like squishes like my back fat together. Um, I mean, it just it is what it is. But I don't feel like super uncomfortable in this at all and then as far as these shorts go my legs have not seen the light of day in like a year like i never leave the house with my legs showing and it's not because i don't like my legs i hate shaving like oh, i hate shaving so for you guys i shaved today so you guys could see me in these shorts Okay, so the matching set for this bro is the Allure leggings, which I was super excited about. Um, hmm. So I really do like these. Like, I love this set. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't like blue, like a lot of blues, but I love like baby blues. It's just, it's just my thing. So I think this set is like gorgeous. The material is pretty thin on the leggings, still super comfortable and sweat wicking. I wish it did come up though a little bit higher, um, just cause if you pull them up, it does have that front seam down the middle. So not badly, but like you do have the potential for the camel toe situation. So it's not bad. It's not something where I'm insecure about where I'm like super worried about it, like in seamless leggings, but still, I wish it just was like reached a touch higher so that I didn't have to like even think about it. And because they, they hit like right below my belly button, I have a short torso too. They might roll down a little bit. And so I'm just like, just don't hike them up. You know what I mean? So 
this is how they fit they do have some extra space down at the bottom which is usual for me being so short but they have the nice little cutouts down the middle and i really like the way they look so these ones are definitely a little bit higher which i like even though they're the same exact leggings i don't know why and then something i thought was like super weird is the sports bra like has some weird differences on it that i'm just like what like this one's nice and smooth and then this one like sticks out i have no idea why like this one's like super hard and like scratchy and then this side's like super smooth and doesn't stick out at all so i emailed them we'll see what they say but worth mentioning but i do really like this Okay, so my hair grows as it's getting hotter in here. It's just like rising and I'm just, oh, so sticky. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and talk about these items. So first up we have the bras to talk about. So this one is the Allure bra to go with like the laser sets. I will say that um, overall, I think these are great. I thought that they weren't gonna be what I liked just because I thought they were gonna go up too high but they're actually perfect. They're super supportive. I wouldn't say super, but like I would say medium, like a good medium support. Whereas this one is the other one and it's definitely like a softer material. It's just nice and soft, but I don't think it's as supportive by any means as this bra. So if you're looking for, you know, less support where you just want to lift, I would go with this one. But if you're looking for something where you're actually going to move in, I would definitely suggest this one. And I got a small in both. Um, I do like the cross back on this. It's not as squeezy as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm okay with it. Like I thought it was gonna like not be good, um, but it's actually, it's fine. And I like the detailing of it a lot. At first I was like, it's $40 a lot, but then I thought about it and I was like, I guess when I look at any other brand, not really. This one is a little bit cheaper and I could see why since it's not as supportive. Um, the only thing I will say is it's pretty freaking thin. Like this, the straps are thin. And then I showed you guys like the little thing. You can probably see it a little bit more now. And that could just be me being picky. I don't know um, about the uneven straps, but it is going to, I'm just a nitpicky person when it comes to stuff like this. And I'm like, I don't like that the seam sticks out way more than this one. Like this one's completely flat and this one isn't. Um, but my one worry with this is, is it's, it is so thin and it's not adjustable. So it might stretch out over time. If for 34 bucks, I guess that's fine. Um, you just have to decide if it's worth it to you, but I do think it's really cute and I love the color. So just trying to mention everything possible I can. I also thought I was gonna have a lot of side boob in this, but I'm, I'm totally fine. It's not side booby at all. Um, but yeah, my, my one worry is it's probably gonna stretch a little and it's just not, not going to hold the gills up the way I need them to be held. So, but the other bra, I, I mean, I like both, but I would say the other one is just more practical for working out in. That's what I'm trying to say. And then I also did order the white Allure bra and the rose matching bra. Unfortunately, they're not going to be here until tomorrow and I wanted to get this video up. So it's not here for me to show you, but I'm like super excited. I did buy that bra in two different colors. I didn't want it in the hot pink just because I was like, I'm not going to be able to, like, I didn't want to wear the hot pink leggings with the hot pink bra. It would just be too much. So I was like, let's get these two. The white is going to go with the pink, and then I'll figure it out later. So, yeah. As far as the leggings go. So, I will say these are much more slick. They're very thin, but very, very slick feeling. So, um, I do actually have... These are actually the colorful koala ones on Amazon that are like 25 bucks. They remind me a lot of those. However, I did wear these one time, not even. I like tried them on and then I forgot about them and I put them on to like work out in. And my husband was like, you have a giant hole in you. So the colorful koala ones for 25 bucks apparently were not worth the cheap price. Um, so I'm really hoping that these ones hold up a lot better than those. 
as far as like I like the fit a lot I don't really have anything bad to say about them I will just say like I feel like they're all squat proof which hooray like that's what we are all looking for um, and then the only thing is they do have that front seam and I felt like in the light blue you can definitely like lighter colors are always harder but I felt more camel toey in the light blue whereas like the rosé ones I didn't feel like that you know what I mean like and for some I put them up against the the other ones as well and I do feel like this one has a shorter like rise than the pink ones the pink ones came up way higher than on me which I prefer this one isn't bad it just hits right below the belly button so I just know I'll probably have to like adjust it for this color I love baby blues I don't know what it is but yes I I am pretty impressed by these I hope that they are great I assuming that you can do everything you want in them that is the only thing like the rosé not the rosé but um the ones I got from the last launch I think it was the rosa stuff um those were super soft but almost too soft kind of like the aligns where you have to be really careful about how you take care of them like yes you're gonna have to be careful with these especially with the holes in them but like to the point where like you shouldn't really do cardio or something where like your leggings are gonna like brush against each other because those are starting you know like pilling is an issue um like you guys know that if you have lululemon lines so i feel like these are gonna be great for like any kind of activity which i like i am gonna wear them tonight so i will update you guys in the description or the comment section for sure so leave me any questions you guys have and i'll let you know how they held up against a workout um let's see what else do we need to go through and then the white the rosé set i'm like in love i they do have a few of our items are definitely pretty similar to like other brands um so if you are interested in the rosé set and it's sold out or you want other colors i think they said they are going to be releasing new ones like newer colors in these as well eventually but i love the white like i i know white gets dirty i'm gonna get these dirty but it's gonna be worth it like i'm super excited and then just making sure to like really wash them carefully like it says machine wash cold do not tumble dry don't bleach it like i'm gonna make sure to take care of these well because you can definitely feel the print on it like it's not like it's smooth and everything but like you can tell that the it was like foiled and then pressed onto the material um so just that's one thing if you're not like gonna take care of them probably not gonna last you very long um same with these i love the rise of them i love them i'm i'm so, I'm so excited um like i said i feel like if barbie was like in workout clothes which i'm sure they have barbie little outfits but like that's how i feel in that like i feel so cute and girly and i can't wait to get the matching sports bra okay and then the last item was the shorts as far as the shorts go i would say if you like they're a lot like the nike dry fit shorts so um i don't mind that I know a lot of people have things to say, but I would say that they're very similar to those, but they're a lot softer material. So a lot softer. I didn't like my Nike shorts because I always felt like they rode up. And then again, I'm just not really a spandexy short person um, in general until I get into like really great shape and then I'll go out in shorts. But or if it gets super hot and sticky here, I do live in Arizona. So once it reaches 120, I'll throw some shorts on. Um, and shave my legs but for the most part um, I do really like these I like them better than Nike ones however I still wish that the band was a little bit different those feel a lot like the Rosa sets from last time like as far as material goes but the band is definitely not the best for like muffin top like for sure it doesn't really do a lot as far as coverage up there it's not it's not the best if you're like insecure about that area it's, it's not going to cover that so just know that you know you give a little you know it's not perfect but at the same time i did really like them i love the color and i do think they're a lot more comfortable than the nike shorts so i'm okay with that and then the rose set if you are you know out of it beyond yoga does have very similar leggings they are a lot more expensive so i'm just gonna save some money and buy these um but if you guys have tried those definitely let me know and then we will go over like my little category real quick for the most part though i feel like everything worked out pretty well it was like little minor things that i was like uh, hmm. um but for the most part i'm pretty happy about it i just wish the blue were a little bit higher rise and i don't know why mine aren't as high rise as the other ones and then like this little thing is just like scratchy and kind of dicky and I don't 
even though it's the slightest difference, I can tell the difference. Like I'm just, I'm going to, it's going to drive me crazy. Okay. So, okay. So as far as the leggings go, and I'm going to put them all in one section because even the rosé are pretty much the allure leggings. Like they're all about the same as far as the material. Um, super thin, but very, they're definitely more compressive. Um, and I did feel like the white ones were a little, like a tad tighter than the allures. I will say that. And they're all extra small. Um, but not like uncomfortably so where I should have sized up. I'm still okay with them. Um, but as far as squat proof, I felt like they were all squat proof. Obviously, I won't know until I'm editing this, but I tried in the mirror and I was just like, Bleh. like trying my hardest and I couldn't, usually if they're not squat proof, I can tell right away. But for like 50% of down of the squat, I felt like they were all squat proof. Um, tummy control, they aren't the best, but definitely not the worst. I would give them an in-between. They're, they, because they are so thin, they're not going to give you like the best like suction in. Um, they did have another like goddess range that they came out with, which I think if you are more looking for that, that's probably going to be what you should get. Um, but I love the design of these. These just aren't, they're, they're, they're still really flattering on. I'm not going to say that they don't have tummy control, but they're not like the best tummy control. I felt like the Rosa set is a little bit better at that. Um, comfort wise, super comfortable. You can move around in them sizing i felt like it was still on i got extra smalls in the last lunch i got extra smalls in these and everything fit fine um and the bras were consistent like last time i got a medium in the cage bra and that was way too big on me and then i got a medium in another bra and it fit fine so this time i went with smalls and across the board they were totally fine so i would say if you want light support definitely go for this one if you want a workout like sports bra go for the allure or if your boobs are smaller you could do both you know no bounce so the other things i have on here is cellulite obviously with the lighter colors you are going to see cellulite i feel like the rose uh, set or the rose 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 i keep saying rose at rose Jeez. um for the rose set you are going to see maybe a little bit of cellulite but because it has the pattern it does cover it up a lot more uh <clears throat> compared to like the light blue light blue you definitely see a little bit more I would say so and then the hot pink we were pretty much good like definitely not as I would say the lightest colors are obviously the worst but it does show through these leggings because they are like a really thin slick material but nothing like awful you know like I still felt nice and like suctioned uh, pricing wise I mean pricing is the same on all of her stuff it's usually around 64 and then the bras are always between 30 and 40 so it kind of is just up to you there's hasn't been any pieces so far that I've been like this is way out of you know what it should be um I mean the only thing I was a little bit like was the goddess leggings were 60 I think they were around 60 bucks as well let me look that up real quick and I didn't feel yeah so the no they're 58 so that's better because at first I was like they remind me a lot of the awful eat ones and so I was like I'm not gonna pay extra for these so they're 58 bucks which is not bad Whereas like the Allure sets were all 64. So I felt like the quality was there for what it is. I'll see obviously how long it lasts and give you guys updates if you would like them. I will work out like I said in them tonight and let you know how they held up with my sweatiness. And that is it for me guys. If you have any more questions, let me know. I try to be as in depth and helpful as possible without boring you. I like every detail there is because shopping online can be a pain in the dickens. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. And that is it from me. I'll see you guys in the next one.